Ginger Fred Studio is a dance and theatre studio that caters for all ages of people with all abilities in dance and drama. It is situated here in South Somerset in Langport, which is the heart of the levels, and it has been running for about four years. We have a huge array of different people coming to the studio each week. For example, a dance class in the evening could have a 14-year-old girl in it. It could also have a 60-year-old woman in it. We completely welcome everybody regardless of age or ability. Gingerbread has uh, classes predominantly in dance during the week. We also have theatre school classes at the weekend where children can come for a two-hour lesson and take part in singing, dancing and acting sessions. They then also work towards a full-scale show once a year and they also have mini-shows during the term. We also have theatre schools for children of all ages that run for a week in the holidays. So there's a whole variety of things for people to come and get involved in. And it's starting to become a real community of different people from different ages who enjoy moving. And what's really important to me is that we don't see Gingerbread as a dance school. What I'm offering predominantly is dancing to make everybody feel better about themselves. So if you come along to a class, the music is, is enjoyable, the social side is enjoyable, the exercises are challenging but enjoyable, you feel better about yourself, you're getting fit, but you're also moving to music, which is a feel-good thing. And that is the main focus for me, is that people can come to Gingerbread and feel better about themselves. The majority of the people that enter through these doors here just want to have a good dance to good music in an array of styles. I have come from a community dance background. I come from a touring community shows across the country. So my ambitions for the studio were supported by funding from the Arts Council. This is bringing uh, opportunity for fitness and dance and creativity into the heart of a rural community, which is really exciting for me. Then we've also got our uh, Strictly Come Langport, which is in its fifth year this year, and, and any testament to uh, community taking something into its heart it is run as each year we do uh, a one night event where five members of the community and this year we've got the window cleaner, we've got a teaching assistant, we've got a yoga teacher taking part and the dancers that they dance with are professional dancers from outside of the area. Friends of mine that are delighted to come back for the weekend and dance in this competition. And tickets went on sale for our December event in September and were sold out in 48 hours. So I could sell it four times over. I won't because we don't have a venue in this town that's bigger or as good as the one that we're in. The studio is supported. People want to use it. They want to go to its events. They value its um, presence in the town because it is something that we understand we, we don't have on our doorstep otherwise. We have to travel out to get to them. So we're all very happy to join in together. The studio is a community enterprise. It is about engaging the wider community in all aspects of dance, regardless of age or ability. It's about fitness and well-being. However, that aside, we do have dancers who come to the studio two, three times a week, 16, 17-year-old girls, 
who find dance is something as a vocation that they want to develop. If they want to do that, the training is available to them here. We have lots of dancers who will go off to dance school from this studio. Um, being a professional dancer myself, I know the route in which they need to take and I'm happy to enable them to do so. And if they are a realistic dancer or student of dance, they will understand that their careers in the age that we now live in, it is essential that they can engage with different aspects of community dance. It's essential that they understand how to teach. It's essential that they, they have learnt that you, you can dance alongside a 50-year-old woman who's enjoying the fitness and, you know, and not be so stuck up about it. That's why we all love Strictly on TV, dance is about everybody having a go. So at Gingerbread, how we work is that people pay per term. We don't do pay as you go, and the reason for that being is that A, it gives you a sense of commitment to your class, which you will get a richer experience of Gingerbread if you feel you have paid for something already and you turn up. It also allows me, because the classes get full, to know if somebody rings up or inquires that I've got spaces or not. Well, the last thing I want is an overcrowded dance studio. It isn't healthy for the people in the class. They can't feel the space to be able to move. If you sign up for the whole term, there are many classes that are the same, if not similar. If you can't make Monday night at six o'clock, you could then come on Friday. If you can't make Friday, you could come on Tuesday. So the women can miss a class and then come to another class at another time. So that's how we work with sign-ups. And those sign-ups are as academic terms, September, Easter and January. The majority of my clients are um, women over 40. Uh, going right up to late 60s. Uh, majority of my clients for ballroom are men and women and definitely nobody feels pressured to come in a couple or even as a pair they can come by themselves and they are very welcome. Uh, obviously majority of my classes are made up of children whether they're doing theatre school with lots of boys and girls age 4 to 16, uh, young children through the week who do creative dance with me which is all about self-expression and finding their own sense of dance and what that could be and that pleasure with moving uh, that starts at a very young age. I even teach under threes which is um, toddlers coming with their grandparents or with their parents or aunties and uncles and that's an engaging class on a Friday where all the adults have to dance with the little people as well so that's that's a lovely class. I love it here it's like my second home and my the family here is so amazing and I love everything I do here. When I moved to this area, I thought I'd never have the opportunity to dance again and it's given me that opportunity and now I just can't stop. So I do a range of classes, um, but tonight I've done the contemporary. Um, it's really sort of out of my, uh, my comfort zone, should I say. Um, I kind of trained more in the jazz, disco kind of areas. Um, so to do contemporary really sort of stretches me, something a bit different, and tests me in different areas. And the best part of Ginger Fred is that you get to like, like really express yourself like at school. If you do drama, it's completely different because you get to actually use your ideas because other people can relate. But at school, some people will just hate drama and just have to do it and just make fun of it. I like the part where you come here and you meet new people and make friends. I try and make sure in the timetable there is something for everybody to do. And one of the biggest things for women over 40 is I want to instill in everybody that I think dance has a, um, aesthetically, we want a perfection. We feel as we get older, oh, I'm not going to be able to keep up. I'm not going to remember. I'm, not, I'm too big or I'm not fit enough. And those barriers are exactly that. What I'm trying to encourage is that people, once they find out about Gingerbread, it welcomes somebody who feels not fit enough, overweight, not quick enough or not light enough on the feet. I'm not interested in perfection. There is a class for your pace and I will guide you through and you will enjoy the moving and you will forget the worries about self-esteem and confidence and just enjoy doing what you need to do for you. And that's why I think the women's classes are so popular because they put the women at the centre of the, of the classes and make them feel good about themselves. A typical day in the studio would be, there might be a private ballroom lesson in the morning, then it might be a women's dance class in the afternoon for, for people who don't work or are retired. Uh, there might be then some children's classes. We'll start at four o'clock and we'll roll through until eight, 8.30 with different classes 
back to back for, for all different sorts of people. There's also an on-site fitness room which is available for anybody who signs up for a class to use providing they do an induction. So in between all your classes you have opportunity to go into the fitness centre as well. So at the moment I'm sat in the studio and you can see there's plenty of space for everybody. The mirrors obviously give a feel that there's a, it's a studio. They put everybody off over a certain age completely but I explain the mirrors are not there to criticize yourself the mirrors are there to see others in the room while you're dancing or to check your posture is correct it is a useful tool that once you understand that you can you can get used to the mirror there's the little studio dog which is Juno and there's the skeleton in the corner not to scare people because it's Halloween but because I truly believe the education of dancing is in every class for every person so if you're just dancing for the pleasure, how wonderful to find out how to access certain muscles, how to improve your posture. Dancing benefits are transferable skills. If I strengthen my core, if I strengthen the muscles around, surrounding my knees, I am going to make my daily action of movement more effective as I get older. And that is a really important thing to remember, that you can have fun dancing, but at the same time you're increasing your sense of fitness and the longevity of your bones and your muscles. It's to do with the range of classes. I don't know anywhere else in Somerset where there are classes for everyone, every style. All ages come from kids in school to people my age. It's the range and variety and it's always there and available to everyone. Well, Lou's really nice. She really can like relate to you if you're like like struggling with drama. She knows because she did it at, like, at the age as we did it. She always keeps things fresh, new material all the time and she likes to stay relevant with the new music. Lou's really nice, she's, she's so kind and she's always there. Lou is a fantastic teacher. Um, I really love how she can have so many different age ranges and abilities in one class. And we all work together, we all get an enjoyable class out of it. Works us hard regardless of our ability. Um, and I think it creates a brilliant community at Gingerfred that um, so many different age ranges can all um, communicate through dance, but also after classes. It's a really sociable environment. I think Lou has brought that to Langford.